Hi guys. Um, okay, so today we are going to be covering an Arabic lesson um, and we're just going to be covering a small topic in uh, Tajweed. So we're going to be covering um, Mad uh, or, or Mudud. Um, so in Arabic, it's just Al Mudud wa an wa So it's just Al Mudud and it's just it's translation English Mudud and its various types. Wa an wa means and its various types. So easy. What is a med? So a med is a stretch or length of the voice with one of the med letters. In other words, it's a long vowel. So we have um in the Arabic language we have three words three letters which we can do med and there are nine types of ways to do this med so we'll just go through them so what are the med letters uh we have an unva um, unvoweled well so that's our first letter an unvoweled yet yeah, that's our second letter and an unvalid an, un, an unvoweled alif, so that's our third letter. So, um, the first form to, um, for example, to do the med, so the stretching, the lengthening of the well, is by doing a dhamma on any letter before it. So, what does a dhamma mean? So, in in the Arabic language, um, there are th there are three types of um let's say it's called sukun and it's just three types of like sounds that we make while we while we um pronounce certain letters and that and it's really important for you to understand um like how to pronounce them with the letters and why we do it and how long for um in order for you to in order for you to when 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 you are um speaking in arabic language or reading something to read it properly or recite it properly so a dhamma um is is basic it, so it's 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 very it'll be easy for you to remember because it's like the well and it's a little it's a little well but you put it on top of any letter any letter which um um well like it depends on what wh whatever it is that you're reciting or you're reading so here we've just got a simple um um just simple word and it's saying with a dum with a dhamma on any letter before it that's how we're going to um lengthen this well okay you might be asking what is this little circle in front of uh, on top of the the big well um that we call it a sukun um so a sukun means um that there, there's no there's n like there's nothing actually um you're not you're not changing the way you're gonna say the letter you're gonna say it the way you're meant to be saying it so for example if you're saying um wow you're you're, you're gonna you're just gonna say wow you're not gonna say uh we or wa or wu you're just gonna say well the way it's meant to be said so just to oops sorry apologies okay just to clarify okay so um the first the first letter that we have here is ba and then well and we've got a dhamma so a dhamma is pronounced oo oo it's like oo and then a kasra is pronounced e and a fatha is pronounced a so I'm just going to write this down really quickly. So a dhamma is just a small well on top of any letter. Let's let's choose the letter uh ba for just just to simplify things. So bu or or it can be and, and then there's there's another um there's another uh um uh sukun there's another like thing that changes the way we we pronounce the letter so this is called a kasra and a kasra comes under the letter so it's b b and the fatha 
comes on top of the letter ba ba okay so i'm just gonna like write this in english just to make things uh easier for you so bu b ba hopefully it should make things a little bit easier for you these these three vowels as well um the way i feel like um with transliteration it'll it'll be easier for you to pronounce the arabic letters so this is wow so it's like it's like saying wow but you instead you're you're saying it with like with a bit of a wow like not wow like do you get it um and then yeah so that could be like yeah and then elif um if i can just scroll a bit down i'm just gonna write it on top elif looks something like this okay so hopefully um it'll be easy for, for you to pronounce these letters now so with 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 the with the sukun so sukun less um um with the like um uh, yeah with, with with the sukun it'll be boo so can you see i'm i've i've like lengthened i've lengthened the letter i've lengthened the letter well because of the dhamma so boo 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 it's two i've lengthened it two seconds okay that's what that's what this dhamma does okay with a kasra on any letter before it d d d the, all, all, all these, all what that this does is just it makes it lengthens. That it's the med, and it's so important, especially if you're gonna read um, um, something like the the holy book, the Quran. It's really important when you're reading it that you do this med. And the last one uh, with a fat hat on any letter for it. So ha, ha, ha. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be like this. So let's say, for example, we put a um, instead of, instead of that kostra. Let's say we let's say we do this. It, we so instead of instead of d, we would have done we would have done do do we no do do d. Okay uh yeah okay so let's move on so here we have uh al med at tabi'i and the transliteration med al tabi'i so here so th there's a letter here which is always very uh, hard to pronounce as an english speaker um but and it always it comes from inside like it comes from like your like the back of your tongue it's like ai 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 you have to do that ah. and sometimes it's very hard to do that uh, but for now you can just say med al tabi'i so you just have to like um do med actually on the two e's med tabi'i okay so what does that mean a med letter by itself in a word so the example that we have here is this word and we've got all three all three um all three types of med so if i i'm just going to read it nu he ha nu he ha so like i told you there's going to be loads of words where this is the case where there'll be a dhamma and then the letter after it or a kasra and then the letter after it or a fatha and then the letter after it and it's so important whenever you're reading that word that you're always giving the next the next uh unvow um like unvoweled sorry un uh, medded uh, letter two seconds so no he ha okay so there's more examples here so i'm gonna give you a few seconds to try and read it and then i'm gonna read it as well so after you've read it i'm just gonna i'm gonna read it myself okay
إن أولى الناسي. Okay, so I believe these are um, some verses from the Quran. So here, this is all Fatha. Okay, so this, this, the, there's something. There's like a, it's like a three letter. So it looks like a, um, a three, but horizontally. This is called a shadda. It's so important, the shadda. Shadda is basically um, a med, but it's a, um, it's, it's like a compulsory med. It's like if it's on the letter, it means you have to do the med. For example, with these, you don't have to do it, but your pronunciation and the way you're reading and the way you're reciting is better. However, if there's a word and there's a shadda on a specific letter, that means you have to do the you have to do the med. And usually this will last about three to five seconds. So see like this this lamb. The slam also has another shadda, so I have to alalina, do you know, etc. And it, it and the same thing applies for um, these examples as well. So what is a count? I've already mentioned this before, we're just going to read it. As a beginner, you can determine the length of one count by the time it takes to fold one finger at a medium pace. Wa amaladina. Well, um, wait, so I, I did it the opposite way, but well, um, once you are more uh, proficient in your re recitation, the time it takes to uh, pronounce a fatha dhamma or kosra is regarded as one count. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is what I've covered so far. I would have gone over as well, uh, medal badal and just um, explain the concept here um, and then this type of med and this type of med and yeah there was there was just a few meds that i would have uh, gone through the lesson hopefully make the pronunciation uh, much better so thank you